Don't call me Gran. What's the matter with your grandfather? Are you feeling better? A bit. Good. So can you take me to the high street? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. It's an emergency. Why? I've got an appointment. With whom? The vet. Again. <laughs> I'm meeting a friend with a dog. Oh, go and ask your grandfather. Well, it's no use asking him anything. Philip, I am convalescing. I oh, know. I may still be infectious. Don't worry, I've already had it. I'm not worried about you, I'm worried about me. <laughs> and I'm not going out. It won't take long. You won't even have to get out of the car. So will you? Go away. But my bike's got a puncture. I suppose you want me to mend that as well. Hi, Graham. <laughs> Don't call me Graham. What's going on downstairs? Nothing. But it isn't my turn to clean out the parrot, is it? I haven't the faintest. And your granddad says it is, but it isn't, is it? Right. That is it. I am not going down there again. Well, it's getting rather crowded up here. <laughs> Are you nearly better? I'm getting there. Well, can you please hurry up because he is just impossible. What is the matter? Everything. He just has a go at everything. He won't let us go out and when we stay in, he shouts at us. Well, you must have done something to upset him. We haven't. He's just changed since you've been ill. Yeah, he used to be nice. Yeah, now he's just like you. <laughs> My rabbit's got fleas. It's not mine. Well, I've got a parrot that bites. I've got an iguana that sticks out its tongue. My grandmother's got flu. My father's got baldness. We've got a monster in our house. Your sister, I know. No, apart from her, we've got a real monster. You haven't. We have. There's no such thing as monsters. Well, we've got one. I don't believe you. It's true. What's it like? Its face goes red, and it roars and stamps about everywhere. Can I see it? You'd be scared. I wouldn't. You would? What? Where is it? Well, it's in the garden at the moment. Show me, then. I'm not scared. You would be. I'm not. You are. Here it comes to get us! Oh, hello. That's my grandfather. That's my monster. This is Daniel. He's staying the night. Why didn't you ask me? I've got enough on my plate. <laughs> See, I told you we had a monster. <laughs> Snowboarding. Picking on the weakest in the class. Maybe right, you're better. <laughs> that order. You're that getting up today? Possibly. I'll see how I feel. I'll run your bath. Whatever happened to take your time? Don't rush things. Well, we don't want you languishing, do we? <laughs> I think you should reconsider nursing as a career. <laughs> Are you going out today? I might. Might? Later. Hugh phoned. To see how I was? Of course. Or to ask you to play golf? Both. I see. Well, I think you should. You do? It's obviously been a bit of a strain for you these last few days. Oh, it has, it has. It's been a bit of a strain for me, too, lying up here, listening to all the give and take going on downstairs. <laughs> yes, well, the important thing is you're back on your feet again. Sooner than I thought. Malingerer's ward, Nurse Prentice speaking. <laughs> yes, Hugh. Yeah, Maggie has absolutely insisted I play golf today. Oh, I see. Oh, that's a shame. No, it's just that I was looking forward to it, that's all. Yes, I will. Yeah, never mind. Goodbye. Hugh has a meeting he'd forgotten. Never mind, you can still go out. Can I? Yes, you can do some serious food shopping. Oh, yes, I can. Jolly good. What day is it today? The fourth day. <laughs> no, I mean, what day of the week? Oh, I thought you meant since you took to your bed. Oh, I didn't know you were counting. Well, it's just that I'm anxious to see you back on your feet. Mine are worn down to the stumps. <laughs> is it Thursday? Yes, it's Thursday. I'm supposed to go to this parents' thing at Mark's mother's tonight. Could you give her a ring? Tell her I can't make it. What parents' thing? Well, she stopped me at the school gate, said it's a sort of get-together. About what? Ooh, school things, I suppose. Whatever parents talk about. Well, it's not a fundraising event or anything like that. Oh, no, no. It's just about things in general. And her number's in the book, under Jake's friends. I could go. Oh, you would enjoy it? Well, maybe not, but I think it's important that we keep abreast of school affairs. That's very public-spirited of you. Yes, you get me out of the house. <laughs> They'll all be an awful lot younger than you. Will they? <laughs> right. 
I'm just doing the washing up. I have started my homework. Look. I was already doing plain wrap, sir. You don't have to tell me. I'm afraid I have to go out this evening. Yes. Brilliant. Great. Uh, to a school meeting. Maybe I shouldn't go. You should. You must. It will do us. It will do you good to get out. But your grandmother's still under the weather. We'll look after her. No problem. Don't worry. And uh, while I'm out... We'll be free. We'll be good, won't we? I want you to make sure that she has everything she wants. Like peace and quiet. And no fighting downstairs. Or shouting at people. Exactly. I think we can manage that. If you're not here. No, no, she's got flu. She sent me instead. Did she? Hmm. She doesn't mind you coming to things like this. Oh, I think I can handle it. I'm used to taking things down. Sorry. Taking notes. Is that for our measurements? <laughs> You're a bit of a dark horse, aren't you? Am I? Sandra, have you got the swans down G-string in an extra large? Or have you got it in the bargain bin? You better come in. Meet the girls. Girls? I thought you might be hungry. Oh, as a matter of fact, I am. Was. It's braised tofu. I was afraid it might be. It's the curd from mashed soya beans. You're not making it sound any more attractive. You won't get your strength back if you don't eat healthy food. I prefer not to eat something that looks as if it's been quarried. <laughs> But I made it especially for you. Did you? Try a bit. Very well. See, it's not bad, is it? <laughs> no, it's very, um... Oh, what, what's the word? Tofu is all things to all people. What does it remind you of? <laughs> Shall I say something for Grandad? No, he's had a bad enough week as it is. <laughs> Uh, but I'm sure it'll do me a lot of good. Don't worry about your grandfather. I expect he's had a nice sandwich at the parents' meeting. <laughs> Surprise. S-U-R-P-R-I-Z-E. Yep. Disappointment. D-I-S-A-P-O... There I... are two P's in disappointment and no Z in surprise. Psychotic. S I. No! <laughs> oh, look, it's the mad woman from the attic. We forgot to lock the door. I heard a crash. What have you broken? Nothing. So, what's in the bag? Your empty wine bottles. I've been recycling them. Right. I just look at this room. Why is it so tidy? Feeling better? Yes, much better. Thank you. Only eight ninety nine, and next week we're going to Traces.